Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a Lenovo ThinkBook 16. This is the Gen 6, the Intel model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have a total of nine screws. These four along this edge here, these screws actually come out. The rest of the screws, these three on top and these two in the middle, those screws are going to stay in the bottom case, even though they've been unscrewed from the, the threading. After that, I found it easiest to use my pry tool and start from the back and pry this edge up first and then work my way down the sides towards the front. I recommend a plastic pry tool because metal will tend to scratch this case a bit more. Go all the way around and if you get stuck in one spot, just leave it to go to the other side and pry it up from this seam right here. Once you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging the computer you're working on. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model, ThinkBook 16, there'll be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll take you to a list of all those replacement upgrade parts, as well as the tools and supplies you may need to work on this computer. Now, before touching anything in a computer, you want to at least unplug your battery first. It makes the computer safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right there. It's held in by five screws. You got these three on top, these two near the bottom corners. And after you remove those screws, it plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, as with any cables in a computer, try to avoid pulling on the cables when at all possible. Manipulate just the plug if you can. So this one didn't have very large grips. You can try to use a pair of pliers to grab it, but you may have to grip those wires very, very securely. Try to get as much of your finger on, on the black plug as you can and gently, slowly wiggle that out to get that out. So now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your CMOS battery is right here. It's this silver round watch looking battery on the left of my screen. And it's set in this port right there. Now to take this battery out, there's some springs right in here on the bottom side of that port. And you can get a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool in here in that groove. And you can push this battery down toward this side of, of your computer to push those springs in and then this battery will come out from under these two clips and the battery can then release. Uh, be very careful when taking out that CMOS battery. This section right here on the bottom that's holding the battery down, that's very fragile. And, and if you push the battery down and try to pop it up too severely, this section here can snap off and then the battery won't be able to stay in, in place. So just FYI, be careful when removing that battery. That's how you would remove the CMOS battery if you're, if you're looking to replace it. If you guys are here to reset your BIOS system, all you would have to do is remove this CMOS battery for maybe 15, 20 seconds, and that should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system settings. As a quick reminder, this in most cases will not reset your BIOS password this will just reset your BIOS system settings. So if you're looking to reset your password, this operation probably won't do it. I'll have more information about resetting the password down below in the description. And I guess as a last side note to this kind of operation, if you're here to troubleshoot why your computer isn't turning on, maybe it's dead, no signs of life, uh, maybe you just see some LEDs, some lights, but no other signs of life. And you heard that this BIOS reset could be a way to revive your computer. That is true, but there are other things you can do as well to troubleshoot why your computer's not turning on. Above, as well as below in the description, I will have a video link. It's a tutorial showing you how to troubleshoot a laptop that won't turn on. Um, it'll take you through the most common, the easiest fixes of why a laptop won't turn on, um, including this BIOS reset, but along with some others too. 
So that was the video. This is how you access your CMOS battery in the ThinkBook 16. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.